Hey guys, it's Alex here from alex2b.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about the Instagram creator account. So in this video, I'll be breaking down exactly what you get with the creator account and if it's worth switching to. With the rise of influencers on the platform, Instagram wanted to make sure it was appealing to this new market by creating a profile specifically for them. Previously, you had the option of choosing between a personal or business profile with the primary difference being access to in-app analytics. Now, the creator account is slightly different, but I'll tell you right away, it's not a huge leap from the business profile. So first of all, most users will have access to the creator account, but in classic Instagram fashion, some will not. So to check if you can switch to the creator account, simply go to your profile, hit the hamburger icon, select settings, then account, and from there you should be able to see a blue button that says switch to creator account. If you click this button, you'll see three main things the Instagram profile offers. One, flexible profile controls, two, simplified messaging, and three, more growth tools. There's also one other feature you can access from desktop, as well as the removal of two of users' favorite features. So I'm gonna talk about these in just a second, but first I wanna mention our sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. You guys know I love Skillshare. I've talked about them many times before, and the reason why is because they offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and so much more. So basically anything you're interested in learning is on Skillshare. And whether you're a beginner, a pro, or a master, Skillshare has a class that will work for you. Recently, they added a course by Brandon Wolfell, who has the most amazing Instagram account, and inside he teaches you exactly how to shoot and edit Instagram photos just like him. So that's just one of the many Skillshare classes I've explored lately, and there's no shortage of more. So if you want to explore your creativity and learn something new with Skillshare, then click the link in my description to get two free months of premium membership. All right, now back to the Instagram creator profile. So the first thing that the creator profile offers is flexible profile controls. Do you feel cringy about having public figure as your profile category? Well, now you can choose to hide it as well as your contact options. Or if you felt there wasn't a title that suited you best before, Instagram has now added new options such as blogger or makeup artist. Number two is simplified messaging. The creator profile introduces a new DM filtering feature that allows you to sort your messages by unread, flagged, or all. It also gives you multiple inboxes to organize messages based on importance. Then within your request folder, you can categorize messages based on a user's follower count. So if you get a lot of messages, you can easily see which ones may be more important or coming from more established accounts. Number three is more growth tools. In this category, Instagram has added a simple yet desirable feature where you can see how many followers you lost or gained on a particular day within the last week. This is something that many users care about, although I would encourage otherwise, so it's an interesting addition for many. Its most helpful function is being able to check what posts and stories you added on a particular day so you can see what potentially led to an increase or decrease in followers. Apart from that, the analytics are exactly the same as what you get with a business account. In addition to these three main things, you also have access to the Creator Studio on Facebook. From here, you'll be able to access post-specific analytics, such as how many likes and comments you generated, as well as the amount of views your stories received. Finally, you can see the same analytics you get on your mobile phone, including your audience demographics, impressions, and reach. So as you can see, these features aren't very flashy. They're pretty basic and not entirely worth switching for, in my opinion. What they don't mention is that if you do switch to a creator account, you're going to lose the ability to use any third-party analytics or scheduling app. Yep, if you schedule your content with an app like Later or Planoly, you will not be able to continue with a creator account. Another issue is you can no longer use shoppable posts with a creator account. This is because there's talks of adding a new creator-specific checkout to Instagram, but it doesn't seem to exist quite yet. So with that, my overall impression is that it's not worth switching. However, if it makes sense for you, go for it. If you wanna take a peek, you can always switch back with no ramifications. So that is it for this video on the Instagram creator profile. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more content from me in the near future. See you next time.